Hi, in a previous video I showed how easy it is to take a PowerPoint deck that you've created and import it into Adobe Captivate 6 and create a new project that you can then quick and easily just publish and share anywhere you want to on the web. Now I'm going to actually spend a few minutes and talk about, well, what if you actually just wanted to add some navigation buttons? Because with the way that files are published by default in Captivate, and we can even show you, so I can go to File, Preview, and I'm going to preview the project. This Captivate by default gives you some basic navigation. Now with that navigation, it's down at the bottom, and so you might want to actually add some bigger buttons to help the user clearly see how they're going to move about through your e-learning content that you're creating. So here is the example of a basic file where you can see the timer, but basically you can click on the screen or click these little buttons down here, you know, this forward and back. But what you can always do too is if you go to Insert, go to Standard Objects, you'll notice that there's this thing called Button. So I'm going to undo it because my button there it is there and you'll notice that with my properties inspector this is where I can type forward and I can do some other changes with the button for instance maybe I want to change the fill so I could play with doing that but for now I'm gonna leave that exactly how it is I could also if I wanted to change the font so in this case for this project I was using Arial for my body font so I could scroll up you can barely see it off the screen there, but there we go. And then you'll notice that you have some other options throughout. So there's some basic style options that I could play with, right? And so you'll look over to the left and you'll see the changes taking place. Okay, so now I'm just going to do Control Z. Okay, there I am here. All right, so you notice that when I click on the button, I can scroll all the way down, and you'll see that I have a bunch of other options down here. So I could play with adding a reflection on there, or maybe I just want a shadow instead of the reflection. So I can play with timing and a few other options down here. But really, the main other thing that I want to do is I want to go find actions. And be aware that you can always collapse some of these if they're in the way. Right? And so in this case, I'm really interested in action because when someone clicks on forward, I want them to be able to go to the next slide. You can control the number of t um, attempts. In this case, it's just basic navigation. I'm not interested in doing that. So now I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate it. And so this one, I'm going to go to my general and I'm going to call, change the caption to back. And then going to change my action to go to previous slide. I'm going to select these, right click, and I'm going to do a line, middle, there we go, and just going to bring them over right about there. So now I'm going to save all, and I'm going to preview. And this time, when I do preview, I'm going to preview, and notice I can preview HTML5. In this case, I'm just going to preview basic and a web browser. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this a little. I'm going to see how I can hit play or I can hit my buttons, right? You notice, let's go back to this. Then when I click back, it brings me back. But you notice that right now, I guess, still click in the middle to get that. If I click forward, it works. So just like that, created some basic buttons. So then what I could do is focus on selecting, selecting it. So I selected both holding shift. In this case, I'm going to group them. I'm going to duplicate. Actually, I'm just going to copy. And I'm going to go to my next slide, and I'm going to paste. And so you notice I'd have to work with some things here because I have some issues that I didn't plan for with my PowerPoint deck. But right now, let's just save all and preview. 
So I hit this. Forward works. Forward works. Back works. Back works. So just like that, I created buttons for my Captivate project. Pretty easy. And you'll notice that when I did it, a lot is happening down here on the timeline. As you become more comfortable using Captivate, you can investigate more the advanced features that are actually not just advanced features, but the way that you can use the timeline to really um, bring your projects to the next level. For right now, you've just seen in a couple minutes how to add basic buttons, how to customize them, and then how to copy them from slide to slide. So for beginners, this will get you up and going in no time to create a Captivate project with some internal navigation. Thanks.